South, born and raised. I put sugar and butter in my grits. I do when I eat it. So I don't know who said from the South you're supposed to add salt, born and raised, sugar and butter. Never did salt. for me so I've been you know I have Saturday Sunday and today off from my um, regular job um, as you guys may know Saturday I spent time with the family did some work and shopping and uh, dropped that in the vlog that I was that I dropped on Sunday morning I think that was epi that was episode 33 of living single over 50 and um, today I am kicking off another episode. So I wanted to cook me something to eat and do a cook with me um, vlog. What did I do yesterday? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. I took some time for me yesterday, you know, just to sit at home and chill. Um, I actually went through my dresser drawers and 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 um, recycled some stuff, or I'm getting some stuff ready for Goodwill or Salvation Army because I tend to donate twice a year. What happens is, is if I shop during the year, especially for clothes and stuff, which I do often, I tend to recycle and, and give away um, things that I don't wear often and just rotate stuff in and out. So I, I, I went through my drawers yesterday and I got a big old bag full of stuff that I'm gonna um, likely recycle and give Salvation Army or Goodwill. And then I took some time to um, clean the rims on my BMW. I wanted to get some of the brake dust off of it because there was a skeet skeet sound that was irritating the shit out of me. Skeet skeet. I don't know if that's how they do it. <laughs> Anyway, it was irritating the shit out of me. So I cleaned my brakes, not my brakes, my um, my rims um, with this stuff that kind of helps remove brake dust and everything like that. And then this morning when I went by the grocery store, I stopped and, and ran it through a uh, um, small little car wash so I could um, get some of the dirt off of it and wiped it down when I got home. But when I went to the grocery store, I think I mentioned before that I wanted some crab legs because I typically eat it, eat crab legs once a month. And I did give me some crab legs, but I also picked up this lobster tail. And this is not padding, y'all. This is all lobster. This is absolutely beautiful. So I said, I'm gonna eat this today, along with some fire roasted um, Brussels sprouts and <clears throat> Some sweet sweet corn, which I am actually gonna try to um, fry it, right? And then I picked me up some fruits and vegetables, like I always do, because I eat so much of it. Um, yeah, that was that was what I did this morning. So right now, I am going to kick off this episode with a cook with me. It may be its own little episode. Who knows? Um, but I'm definitely gonna kick it off that way. So give me just a few minutes so I can make sure I have everything that I need out. Um, and then we'll get started. So I'm actually gonna start by just putting these Brussels sprouts in this little pan. They say you put it on 425 and bake in the center of the oven for 12 minutes. So I'm gonna let my oven warm up. And get that started. I'll just let me wash my hands first. Before I get too much. Before I get too far, too far along in this process. Um
smell good. I'm just going to put those in there. And we're going to put that. This is what I wanted y'all to see because this is absolutely amazing. And I'm actually going to cook this, cook this um, lobster tail. Y'all look at that. Okay, wait a minute. It's in the bag. <laughs> look at that beautiful thing. Like it got so much, I don't even know how to act. It got so much meat in it. It's just, it's just crazy. Crazy. I don't know uh, where they got this lobster from. <laughs> but they did that. So how I typically cut my lobster, it's just, you know what? It may be easier to cut it. I'll keep that there just in case. Just in case. But these shears, what I do is just take it straight down the middle of the lobster and just cut. See, this, this is a thick one, honey, because it's so big. And I, I think that's what I love about the market near my home is this, it has like a area where it's all freshly caught fish and that's why I got this lobster from in that freshly caught fish area and um then on the other side is where they have you know packaged fish so of course when I went to the grocery store or when I went to the market this morning whatever you want to call it grocery or market um I did get some fish that wasn't in the market area. And um, put that in the freezer as well. But the lobster and the, the crab legs I got from the market. So what we're gonna do is just pull the meat out of the shell. Like I don't even want the shell because I know I'm not gonna eat the shell. <laughs> eat anything associated with the shell. So. Just pull the meat out of the shell. Look at that. When I say meaty, honey, look at that. Child. And I know y'all saying, well, Woo, how much was that thing? Well, let me let me tell y'all. Let me let me see. The whole shell is off. It's that simple to, to cut a lobster tail. Um, hold on a minute. Let me show y'all. Wash my hand again. When it comes to the meatiness of a lobster tail, now this was a Extra large lobster tail, right? It obviously has tons of meat on it. And I got my little receipt. This was a $35 lobster tail. 35 bucks for this tail, which I would say is not bad, but you know how I always be sitting there complaining about, oh, I'm spending a lot of money on groceries. It's the seafood. Mention I mentioned last time when you eat a lot of seafood, now I would eat just more fruit and vegetables. Grocery list is not gonna be that, that intense, but when it comes to the seafood, child, you're going to be spending a grip on seafood. Unless you just get seafood that's not, you know, naturally, that's not um, 
at the market, like already bagged and stuff, then it's a little cheaper. But if you go to the market, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. So, I'm gonna put some Obey on my lobster tail. All off in the crevices. Whew, child can't wait. I'm so excited. All off in the crevices. And then I am going to put some Cajun seasoning on it. And y'all remind me next time I go to Ross or somewhere. Give me some out uh, new doggone um, chopping board. Chop, 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 chop so much. This little board has had its days. And I'm actually going to use this garlic parmesan butter to cook the lobster in. But what I want to put on here is a little lemon pepper because I love the tanginess of lemon pepper. on seafood. I just love how that tastes. So we got that seasoned up very well. My oven is still warming up. These are warming, so I'm gonna put extra olive oil in here for the corn. Extra virgin olive oil for the corn. Let that olive oil get warm. Put this up. Take this butter. And I'm gonna use all of the butter. I don't know how many, it's about eight, eight cubes of it. I'm gonna use every last one of them. That's all they melted, but hopefully I won't have to add no more butter. And then when I, um, no other kind of butter, but I'm gonna use this for sure. And then once I, um, Put my lobster off in the skillet. I am going to add some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce onto it. Make a little flour in here. I'm going to add some season oil. Add some season oil. Try the season oil stuff. And I'm just going to roll the corn in the flour. Right, just to coat it, I'm gonna wet the corn first so it stick a little better. I probably should do my little trick by putting the corn in the refrigerator and the refrigerate it, but I'm not going to. Don't feel like it. So I'm gonna coat it, coat the corn really good, lightly. And I don't, you guys, I don't eat a lot of corn, but when I do eat corn, um, it's typically, I typically get the sweet corn. And the reason why I actually purchased the corn this time is because I was going to do me a, uh, crab leg boil. That was the intent for today. 
But when I saw the lobster, y'all, I just couldn't walk away. And I'm just, see how lightly they're floured? And how the water helped it stick? So I'm just gonna sit them in the oil and let them fry and just rotate them. Right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hand again. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lobster in this butter. And like I said, I'm gonna give me some Worcestershire sauce. So I'm gonna put the bottom part down and let that start cooking since my corn is in. And that beet was actually my oven saying it's ready. So give me just a second, I'm gonna I'm drop that, these Brussels sprouts. I'm not gonna put anything on the Brussels sprouts. They, they, they already seasoned, so I put them in here for 15 minutes, honey. When they come out, they should be tasting like gravy. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take the rest of this butter and put it on this lobster while it's cooking. Put it inside. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna bring you closer. But put it inside where the lobster is like cut open. That's what we're gonna do. Bring y'all closer so y'all can see. Now that we've finished the prep, see how I put the butter off in there? So as the lobster cooked, I just put some, oh, can y'all see that? I just put some um, chopped, I know y'all know that look good. You know that look good. So I just put some um, Worcestershire sauce on there and then put that garlic butter on there. And it's cooking from the bottom, right? Because of... Yeah, that's going to be good. And see how the corn, the corn is just frying. And we'll rotate the corn a little bit at a time. Right? And um, the Brussels sprouts are now in the oven. So this is going to be ready in just a few. So I will be honest with you guys. Now, one thing... For sure, I'm just turning them with my finger. One thing for sure is that uh, I can. It's it's prominent how much seafood I eat. But like, if anybody was ever to come to me and they say, "Joe, hey, you know how to cook any soul food?" The answer is gonna be no. I don't. And it's not because I was. It, it's not because I wasn't raised in a, uh, you know, African American household. Because I was. It's because I don't eat it. So I never cared about learning how to cook it. Like my mom used to cook chitlins and stuff like that and hog moth and I, yeah. I, and when I was much younger, oh, I used to get down. But as I got older and started caring about my health and and what I eat and how I eat it. I don't, I don't even indulge. So I, I don't know how to cook no oxtail. Matter of fact, when I see oxtail with all that gravy on it, it just turns my stomach. I don't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Um. So, you know, that's just me. It's just a preference. Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm closer to being a vegetarian than what I am pescatarian because I eat so like, I can go days without protein and just drink, a, you know, without any fish and just eat fruit and drink a, um, a protein smoothie. But I try to get enough protein off in me because um, my medical oncologist has me on vitamin D supplements. 
already. And it's because, you know, I don't get a lot of, you know, vitamin D, milk, all that kind of stuff that's supposed to make your muscles and your bones strong. I don't get a lot of that because I don't eat, apparently, what, I'm, what they feel like I should be eating. I guess. I don't know how else to explain it, but that's what I'm guessing. So they have me on vitamin D supplement stuff. You know, make sure my little my little muscles and bones are right. Which is fine. Um but no, I don't I can't your girl mm -mm. all the soul food and stuff that your girl don't cook, girl don't eat. Fried catfish. Is that considered soul food? But I don't really fry my catfish like people fry their catfish. Um, I love grits. I love, I have never had catfish and grits or shrimp and grits. I, I, I've never done that. <laughs> I've never done it. Um, I'll probably try it one day, but I've never, I've never eaten it, honestly. And I'm from the South. But, and also, being from the South, born and raised, I put sugar and butter in my grits. I do, when I eat it. So, I don't know who said from the South, you're supposed to add salt, born and raised, sugar and butter. Never did salt. So, I'm just saying, but let this stuff cook. I'm ro slowly rotating my corn. Um... My Brussels sprouts have about seven more minutes, and I'm gonna have to turn this lobster tail over eventually. Um, but we trucking along, child. We almost there. Okay, now we're gonna flip over our lobster tail. See how it's curling up? Can y'all see that? See how it's curling up? And the corn, I've turned several times. Some of it's getting golden. The corn ain't gonna take long at all to cook. But you see, how in the bottom of the grease, how the flour has come off of some of the corn. If I had went ahead and stuck the corn in the refrigerator, um, after I floured it, stuck it in there for like 15 minutes, that wouldn't be a thing right now, to be honest with you, but it's all good. Now I'm gonna take the corn out and just sit it over in this bowl so it can drain with the just gonna take them out one by one the benefits of long nails honey they just like little claws baby but that's also the reason why I'm all I'm constantly washing my hands <clears throat> because I'm gonna let that one cook a little longer and I'm going to get a knife the knife that I scooped the butter with and cut my left lobster in, down the middle so we can make sure it's definitely cooked all the way through look how it's just falling open y'all oh Make sure it's cooked all the way through. Ow! Burn my hand. So we're gonna roll it onto this side now. Let it do some cooking. And roll this one. that side. 
and let it do some cooking. Cut the corn off and go ahead and take that out. We got two more minutes on the um on the um Brussels sprouts. You didn't know that I'm down. So the question may be, how do you know if the lobster tail is cooked all the way through? One, you see how it's curled up? That's how you know it's just about there but see how the meat is now white it's not translucent it's not like it's see-through so since this is so big this is actually going to be two meals for me i can have one side and then another side so let me get this i'm gonna taste this honey because i know this is everything y'all want to taste I know this tastes amazing. Absolutely. Then I'm taking the Brussels sprouts out. I'm going to plate this up and let you guys see the final result. That's what we're working with, y'all. The lobster tail, the fried corn, the Brussels sprouts. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sneezing. It looks so good. So good. I'm going to take it over to the table and then we're going to taste it. All right, young girl. Let's see. Let's see how your girl did. Let's see how your girl did. So we already taste the lobster. See how the Brussels sprouts are. Very good. The corn. Amazing. <laughs> oh God, I love sweet corn. <clears throat> A little more of the lobster. Y'all, that's so good. So, it's about 12.24. This is the first thing I've eaten today. So, if you was to think about what I eat in a day, this is what a typical meal would look like. If I get hungry later, I'll eat some fruit. I may do a protein smoothie. And that's it. I have a thing for ginger ale and or sweet tea. This is actually just water.
so this lobster is a pretty nice piece of protein <laughs> baby it's good so it'll probably be fruit later but I have an entire another dish because I have the other side of the lobster I have more Brussels sprouts, more corn, so I'll have plenty of leftovers for tomorrow. It's a pretty simple recipe. You know, nothing was made by scratch. But, if you like this vlog, as always, like, comment, share, and if you're just visiting, Feel free to subscribe. Y'all. This is corn. Mm-hmm. Subscribe.